Uh, welcome back. We got another kiln unloading tonight, and of course, all of these new experiments in there. Um, I'm Kate. Welcome to Zook's Cave. Let's get started. Okay. So, um, probably three or so weeks ago, I was telling everybody about this new dark brown Kentucky brown bear clay that I was trying out. Um, so of course I'm not a very good waiter and I just went ahead and glazed some pieces without testing them out first. So, um, these are definitely experiments to see how my current glazes work with this new clay. But, um, I think, I think you're going to like what you see. So, um, here is some beautiful brown bear clay. Um, it was kind of a nice teddy bear brown after the first firing, and then after the second one, it turns a nice dark brown, almost kind of a charcoal brown clay color. Um, and then, of course, we have new glaze colors, too. Always an experiment happening here at Zook's Cave, so uh, feast your eyes on these beauties. How about that? Um... Let's see, we got a couple customer requests. Um, we just got a nice blue rutile mug. Yeah. Oh, that feels like it's a little stuck. There we go, we're good, we're good. Um, so yes, again, also on the Kentucky Brown Bear, we've got, um, Oh, I don't even remember what this glaze is, but I just like that clay. It's just beautiful. Let's see. Looks like blue rutile on our brown bear. A little texture on our handle. Let's see. Another blue rutile mug. That's just a really, really pretty blue glaze breaks a little brown on the rim and the textured parts yeah that's nice let's see we have smoky merlot on our brown bear okay. um, hopefully this fits um, my little silicone Topper, maybe coffee, maybe not. Let's find a little to-go cup. Uh, we got Chun Plum, which is a kind of a pink glaze on our brown bear. That turned out very nice. That reacted really well with that clay. Very happy. And we got Tourmaline on our brown bear. Nice contrast between the brown and the turquoise color and a couple test tiles so test tiles um, we can try the glazes on the particular clay um, so we know how they're going to react so we got a textured side and a smooth side so we have tourmaline there um, we have green tea here and aurora green on this side it's got some crystals in it um, here we've got, I think, Blue Midnight with, shoot, I don't remember. I wrote it down, but, um, yeah, so we got some layers, we got some new glazes, um, ooh, this is a fun one. Yeah, look at those colors. Looks nice on the texture. Um, we got our Smoky Merlot and Chun Plum combination. And, and a test tile that fell over. Thankfully, the uh, shelf had kiln wash on it. So, um, yeah, it came off, but it peeled a piece of my kiln off. So I'll have to repair that. That's fun. Let me switch my shelf.
when I peeled that this little cookie off, cut my finger. That's not cute. Okay, take our cookies out. And our shells. heavens we got some good stuff in here um, of course I'll show you hang on okay so in our gnome class in our first firing um, we had two gnomes explode and the students decided to turn them into happy accidents into little planters where they're gonna put air plants in um, and it'll look like hair coming out so uh, we have a couple of those so this is the bottom part we got some fall colors and then we'll have some plant coming out up and over so uh, this particular gal is going to place a droopy plant so it's going to look like hair coming up over the side and this student is going to do the air plant so it's all spiky kind of like the uh, little trolls um, that we used to have as kids so that'll be fun those will be cute to see once they're all planted and their little respective hats another another test tile fall over but this one um, I believe it was Capri blue over power turquoise and that's kind of fantastic so we might try that combination on some mugs because those colors just really pop okay and I think this was snow snow over something but that that bubbled really bad so um, that's why we do the test tiles to know which glazes are gonna react like this so we know not to do that one. Oh no this is a new one nebula nebula blue and we have a customer order with our green tea and winter wood a set of four wine cups Our little peas on the bottom of these so yeah these turned out really nice okay and little cones some more test tiles I think this is indigo float nice bright blue on our new clay chun plum and smoky merlot combination you can see one side's a little more pink um, and then the other side's a little bit more purple and then we've got uh, three coats of I think this was purple rain um, three coats on one side two coats on the other so we can kind of see if it is necessary to do more coats or not um, sometimes the different minerals in the clay requires additional coats um, this one we've got our saturation gold texture side smooth side Copper. Ooh, this is fun. At least I think it's fun. Uh, that side. That would look neat on a pumpkin. Just saying. Okay. Um. Don't remember what color this one was. Potter's Choice number twenty-two. I'll have to look that up. Um. But that kind of turned a little bit of a matte finish. Not sure if it was supposed to be or not. Um, these next few mugs are also for a customer order, special request. 
and in the gnome class when I had it sitting here waiting to be fired I had several inquiries about them so might be a hot item uh, coming available in stock to the masses so we've got moon and stars and the bottom part is a little bit sparkly and the top part we've got the purple rain and some drippies so I did two of each color we have our indigo blue nice bright blue sparkly on the bottom And this one is our sunburn with some flux added for drips. That one turned out really well. Very good. All right. So we got two of each of those. Let me switch my, my board. Got another layer of shelves. All these little peas. Put those on the back side. All right, now we're getting down into our gnomes. beard sparkly mustache and beard uh, let's see this one was intended to kind of look like birch wood so I think that looks pretty good it's fun these are so cool because everybody gets to kind of make it their own by, you know, dressing up the features, making, you know, the different shapes of the noses and the beards, um, the shapes of the hat, the textures. Sometimes they re resemble somebody you know, and sometimes they just are a character all their own. So these are just so much fun. They turned out really good. Okay. Yes, uh, more pictures of this little guy to follow. Uh, he's got some embellishments that will be added at a later time. pretty packed this round and so far everything has gone according to plan very pleased all right some more gnomes little woodland gnomes these are great for year-round uh, maybe even put them in your planter inside your house. Uh, bring a little character inside, you know? So I just love everybody's choice of bright colors. You know, nothing's... Um, I don't know how to say... Uh, trendy. 
everything is just everybody's own personality. So this makes them special. Oh, look at this. These look so good. We got a gold and maroon. So fun. All you Harry Potter fans. Okay. Another gold. Little old man winter nose. Last gnome. Okay. And I'm just going to leave those there for a minute. Um, couple new things that I've done. Uh, we got some toppers for wine bottles. And uh, these will be glued onto some corks. And then you can put them in your wine bottles. So we got quite a variation. Um, square, round, triangle. Couple crosses. Yeah, these are fun. Okay, we got a copper one and sunflower. And then these next two items, um, these are the wall pockets that we're gonna do in our next class in February. Um, let's see, I believe it was February, February 9th and 23rd. So uh, if you're interested in the class, be sure to go to my website, zookscape.com. Uh, you can sign up there for the class. I will be uploading pictures and uh, making the class available for sign up probably, probably tomorrow. Um, give me a minute to get the pictures and uploaded and description of our class. So in our class, uh, these are just examples of what you can make. They don't have to be the same shape as these. They don't have to be the same texture. So um, I invite you to use your imagination, maybe choose a different shape, approximately the same size. Um, but we've got all kinds of options for textures and colors and shapes. I mean, it's really endless. So um, in these wall pockets, you can put plants, you can put mail, you can use it for keys, maybe pens or something near your desk. Um, you know, really whatever you want. Maybe you just want it for decoration. Maybe you even put a fake plant in it if you don't have a green thumb. So I just did a, a rectangular one and I did a round one. Um, and then I used the, the sunflower texture roller on this one as well. And I just glazed the petals on the front and the bees on the back and I left the rest of it kind of raw. So um, I'm a fan of the botanical kind of aged raw clay look myself. So, um, but whatever you are kind of into, I mean, it's, it's your creation. So I invite you to use your imagination. So I'm gonna go set these on the table, be right back. And I got one more little thing. Um, I made made this little uh, hair tie. Not really a tie, but um, little things you put your stick through around your ponytail or your bun. So um, might try that out tomorrow. Let you know how it goes. See how it holds up. Make sure that it doesn't gonna break. So, anyways, that is everything out of the kiln. Thank you for taking your time out and watching that. And uh, don't forget to check out my website, uh, sign up for the next class, and as soon as I get a moment, I will be uploading the available items online for sale. And if you see something you like and you live local, reach out to me. We can arrange some kind of a pickup. Um, I'm in Sheridan on Thursday nights. If you're in the Lebanon area, I could probably meet at CVS or something one evening and, and do a drop off. So. Um, Till then, take care and create something all your own. Thanks.